3 things I really liked about the BenQ Mobius EX3210U. Gorgeous screen, the IPS 4K 32-inch display does not disappoint, both for games and for videos. Honestly, one of the best quality IPS displays I've used. Quick HDR button, HDR is hyped as the best way to enjoy game sequences where you maintain the immersiveness of your character being in the dark or in shadow, but you can see what you need to see. Implementation-wise though, I've always found HDR to be more missed than hit until now. The BenQ Mobius EX3210U it has an easy-to-use quick set button which allows you to cycle through HDR presets effortlessly. So it's super fast to adapt to whatever game you're playing. Easy to tweak. Monitor settings can be really confusing and some make you feel you need a PhD in color science before the monitor displays at its best. Not so with the BenQ Mobius EX3210U, which distills the options you need to the very first screen of the UI so you can tweak the screen to what you like effortlessly. What's up internet? Reviewing today BenQ's Mobius EX3210U. This is a sponsored review, but to be honest, for the longest time, my primary monitor was a BenQ EX2780Q. Similar monitor with lower specs than this guy. I like the EX2780Q so much that we started carrying it in the shop. That's how much we believe in its quality. So I was really happy using that as my primary monitor for the past two years. And then BenQ comes around and says that, Hey, do you want to try a similar monitor but it's larger, high resolution, and more nuanced HDR? So of course my answer was, yeah, why not? On paper, the EX3210U is very impressive. 32 inches, 4K, 144Hz, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro compatible. But do all of those specs actually translate to a worthwhile monitor in real life? And the answer is very much yes. The number one thing, of course, is that it was excellent for gaming. In all of my game time on it, I didn't see any screen tears, jaggedness, no weird shimmering where there shouldn't be any. I was using an RTX 3080, so that's an NVIDIA card. The monitor is rated for AMD, FreeSync Premium Pro, but it had no trouble taking the frame rates from my NVIDIA card and making sure that everything was smooth. No issues at all with the screen quality. Let's jump into the games a little bit. One of the two games that I really tried it on is Overwatch 2, which is a fast-paced esports title. So you really want to make sure that the frame rates that your PC is throwing out get translated on screen. As mentioned before in the refresh rate, there were no problems at all. It handled like a dream. You can be sure even when you're playing high FPS titles that you won't see any jaggedness and tearing. On the image quality, to be honest, this was one of the best image qualities I've seen from an IPS panel. Everything was very sharp, very detailed. You don't miss out on any of the graphic nuances of whatever you're playing or watching. For color, Overwatch 2 uses a wide color range, so there's a lot of gamut of colors running around on screen. How the characters look is constantly changing depending on the skin chosen by the player. And all of those colors were rendered very appropriately, very vivid and very bright. So if you're playing something very colorful or, or if you're trying to appreciate a lot of colors on screen, the BenQ Mobius EX3210U has your back. The second game that I tried this monitor a lot on is Death Stranding, which is a very different kind of game from Overwatch 2. There are a lot of dark scenes in Death Stranding, which plays to one of the strengths of this monitor, the HDRI. Brief detour, what is HDR or high dynamic range? It's basically a feature where the monitor is able to display more nuance in the whites and the blacks. So in a proper scene, or like when you go to the movies, and you notice that the shadows there are really black, but you can still see details in the darkness. Because our eyes apparently are very good at seeing contrast. So we're able to pick out details even in dark scenes. That's been a challenge for a lot of games and a lot of computer monitors in particular. Trying to get the best blackness, but still showing the appropriate detail to the user. And up front, I never used HDR before because I always found everything too murky. It's kind of like they put a light tint over the scene where everything becomes darker, but none of the details pop out more. And that's what's supposed to happen in proper HDR. True blackness, but in those shadows, you can still make out details. So I never enabled HDR until this monitor. 
the BenQ Mobius EX3210U. It has an HDR eye setting which is unique to BenQ and it senses the light conditions of how you're using it, whether you're in a dark room, whether you're in a light room. It takes all of that information and adjusts on the fly. So you're not just seeing a stock HDR implementation. It's something which dynamically changes depending on how you're using the monitor. This on-the-fly tweaking of the image is very impressive. And that's what led me to appreciate HDR, where when it works, it really works. The quality of the image is noticeably better because even though it's inky black, you can still spot details in the inky black of the scene. Talk about immersive. I played a lot of Death Stranding at night and you know, you're staring at the game in 4K and everything is dark and then suddenly, you know, basically ghosts come at you. It's a very, you know, I'm, I'm awake at one in the morning. It's a, it's a big adrenaline rush because the monitor really is able to immerse you in the game from the details, but as well as yun nga, yung ang ganda ng implementation ng HDR. Again, one of the best actually that I've ever tried. Not a big believer in HDR before, but this guy changed my mind about it. I've gone on about games a lot because ultimately that is, at least for me, no BS reviews tayo dito, and a lot of you watching are gamers. You'll be wondering, I bought a nice rig. Is this monitor the proper complement? Will all of that nice hardware I bought translate to a proper image on the screen? And definitely, yes. Super immersive, great quality, great sharpness, great detail. And you know, the thing about monitors, a lot of manufacturers like throwing a lot of different numbers, a lot of different features. But personally, when I approach a monitor, it's really just one question. Do games look good on it? And in this monitor, 110%, yes, they definitely do. I did watch some videos on it. Image quality is very good, as you would expect. Usually, if it displays games well, you can be pretty sure that it will display video as well. Aside from the HDR setting the scene automatically, the user can also change the HDR very quickly using a quick button here, which will let you cycle through the different presets for HDR. So this is HDR off, and then there are presets for gaming, for cinema, and for display. So it's like you and the monitor working hand in hand in tandem, trying to figure out what kind of darkness settings do you really like. And this seems like a small thing, but when you're playing, darkness is a big factor. Getting the right mix of shadow and darkness is a big factor in the immersiveness of your gaming experience. So this quick setting button seems super simple, but it's super useful. Complementing the image quality are the surprisingly good built-in speakers. Honestly, I'm usually not a fan of built-in speakers. My usual reaction is to rely on dedicated speakers or headsets. But pleasantly surprised that the BenQ Mobius EX3210Us are pretty darn decent with a 5 watt powered subwoofer providing oomph to explosions and other impact sound effects. Gun and ability sound effects as well as the music in Overwatch 2 were recognizable and pleasant. The more ambient pings and whistles as well as the more intense nightmare inducing BT and stranding sequences of Death Stranding were clear and booming where appropriate. One last thing about the monitor which isn't related to its display is that it also has a built-in microphone. So perfect for your online meetings, online classes. And it has AI built-in, baked in already to filter out any noise. And an unexpected touch from BenQ to come up with something like that. And yet it makes perfect sense. You don't want to have to buy a secondary mic. Sometimes using a headset is clumsy. And again, it's something extra that you need to buy. With the EX3210U, you already have the microphone built in and the AI noise filtering is also already baked in into the monitor. This monitor is not cheap, so it's nice that there are additional features that are actually useful to the user. And we'll just end the review on simple things that maybe not a lot of people will appreciate, but enthusiasts will definitely notice this because it makes the monitor much easier to use. First of all, assembly was super easy. In the base of the monitor, there's already an embedded screw which you can't remove. It's already embedded into the base. Again, super simple but super useful so that that darn screw doesn't get lost. And the screw has its own hook so you can just use your hand to twist the stem or the trunk in place. Very easy to install. 
you can do everything by hand, it's toolless. And then the monitor itself slips very effortlessly into the trunk of the monitor. Again, toolless, it just kind of slips on to the top and it snaps into place. Same design aesthetic actually as the previously mentioned EX2780Q. So I'm glad that BenQ has that kind of ease of use throughout all of its monitor line. Small thing, but when you're the one installing a 32-inch monitor, you really do appreciate touches like that because it's one less thing you have to worry about. Screws get lost all the time, but not in this case. Monitors can be bulky to assemble, but not in this case. Final touches, it's nice that the majority of the monitor is white except for the front grille and the silver of the base with a little red-orange accent. But most of the monitor, you can't appreciate it because it's from behind, but most of the monitor is white. A lot of our customers actually ask us for white monitors. They're very difficult to find. So if you're looking for a high-end white monitor, the BenQ Mobius EX3210U is basically it. And another nice feature which I really like is that it's so flexible. There's a hinge here in the back and the range of motion that you can get out of it is quite impressive, whether tilting up and down, side to side, and up and down for the monitor itself. Usually, I'm not a big fan of the tilt and the side angle because basically, you know, it's a computer monitor, you're expected to be right in front of it. But because of its size and because of its versatility, you can also play a lot of good videos on it. The hinge makes sense. You might have a setup where you're sitting at your desk or in a chair, but then if you tilt the monitor, you have a couch and you can watch from that couch, let's say a movie, for example. The hinge is a perfect complement to the overall large size of the monitor. And the range of motion is quite impressive. My only gripe would be, I wish you could put it in vertical mode. Although that's kind of a silly complaint to make since who's gonna buy a 32-inch monitor just to put it in vertical mode? But the part of me that just wants more flexibility is kind of looking for that. But again, that's a very minor gripe to make and 98% of people out there will not care that you can't flip this automatically into a vertical mode position. So down to brass tacks. Yes, this monitor is not on the cheap end, but if you think about the specs that you get, 32 inches, 4K, 144Hz, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, there's actually quite a bargain already, cramming all of that and the excellent implementation of HDR. You have all of those features, they've put it all into this great looking monitor, and its suggested retail price of $900 is not sounding so bad. You know, having a high-end gaming rig is just the first step. Your fancy graphics card, your fancy CPU, you won't be able to appreciate any of that if your display can't show you the speed and the image quality and the greatness, basically, of what your PC can output. So the final step to having a good high-end gaming setup is really the monitor. And if you're in the market for that, you should definitely consider BenQ's Mobius EX3210U. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron kami. Full-service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.